All right, Coach, if you would be so kind as to give us a comment on the game, and then we will open up the uh, floor for questions. Well, good, good road win. I think um, you know, it was a little different than probably any any other game we've had since I've been here with the delay, you know, um, and it being such a gap from the time that those guys kind of started the day to the time that we actually played the game. So that was a little different, but I'm glad through all of that we were able to come out with the victory again. You know, wins are hard to come by. Road wins are definitely hard to come by. And those guys, you know, put it all together. And we were able to come back to Richmond with, with the W. So I'm happy about that. All right, Sean, would you like to ask a question of Coach? Well, yeah. Well, uh, first, uh, do you have an update on Jada? What's his status about uh, for Saturday at Livingstone? Um, we're waiting to see. So, you know, right now we're just kind of making sure we go through like the daily stuff we normally go through on on a Tuesday. So, you know, um, so we'll see a status. I guess we'll get an update sometime either today or later in the week. So, you know, um, we'll wait to see that. Did you think you guys were going to play on Saturday, given that long delay you guys had against Shaw? Um, I did not. You know, I thought they were going to camp. I just thought the storm would never stop, you know, because, you know, when, once we go into a a 30 minute, you know, pause because of, because of the lightning, you know, um, it seemed like right in between that 30 minute pause, it's another one. So it added another 30 minutes on, then another one added another 30 minutes on. So it just was repeatedly that, you know, just trying to keep the guys up and focus. You know, we had those guys in the locker room, they were antsy, they wanted to play then, you know, they kind of up down and, and just trying to keep those guys focused was a job for the coaches, you know, to do. And they did a great job of it, but we have a, we have a good mature team that I think, you know, um, they, they were able to kind of understand why we were there and, and they really, really wanted to play. You know, um, we wanted to play. I just thought it wasn't going to happen. So, you know, um, me and Coach Jones talked a couple of times between the um, the break and just trying to figure out if we were going to get a chance to play, what were some of the alternatives? So, you know, um, but, you know, I was glad we were able to get it in. Uh, how proud of, how proud are you with the guys for, you know, mentally to stay up given the circumstances and also you know once they saw jada uh go down with the injury um like i said we have a pretty mature team you know so a lot of the things that we ask those guys to do you know they do they do it at a, at a high level you know um i would i wasn't necessarily worried about the you know the mental aspect with those guys because a lot of them been here and they know what it is i was more concerned with the physical aspect of it you know um, getting those guys up pretty early to start the day and preparing them for a one o'clock game and, and not getting to play to about maybe 345, you know, um, almost four o'clock, you know, that was more the, you know, the, the physical aspect that you, that you wanted those guys kind of, and that's really something we can't control. You know, um, we hadn't eaten breakfast since early that morning. That was the meal we were playing off of and not, and not to have those guys play till late afternoon was a little difficult, but I was, again, I was glad to see those guys kind of just fight. They came out pretty strong and, 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 and fought all the way through the game. So, you know, um, like I said, it just shows the maturity of our team. Uh, your thoughts about uh, Davis and also uh, Shamar Graham being uh, recognized by the CIAA for 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 their performances on Saturday? They staples of the program, so you know um, those guys are uh, uh, grassroots, you know, high school guys we recruited all the way here. So you kind of see those guys grow into what they are now. So kind of to see that, you know, um, let us know we're doing the right thing on the recruiting front, you know, um, and you know those guys just they play every week. You know, so those guys can probably get played a week every week with how how, how they perform and grade out for us. You know, so so we're we're happy to have those guys on our team. Another big one, another road test at Livingstone on Saturday before uh, I'm assuming conference play would start the following week at home. Given what you guys have gone through the first two weeks, you know, going to Canton and then the situation on on Saturday is like, let's just have a a normal week. To, to kind of get ready for the game and, and you know, go down there and, and, and try to take care of business? Yeah, this actually starts conference play this week. You know, oh, okay. With the new format that the CIAA have, you know, we go to the eight-game conference schedule. So this actually start conference play this week. So um, to take those first three and put them all on the road, you know, um, I think the road builds character. You know, um, anytime you can pack it all up put it on a couple buses and, 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 and take it on the road and still, like I say, you know, put your product out there and, and your whole program out there and you come out with a W, it, it, it speaks volumes. So, you know, um, this will be, you know, um, the third of three straight road games. So, you know, um, those guys aren't complaining. We aren't complaining. You know, um, 
Yeah, we're just ready for the challenge. So, you know, um, it'll be another one. You know, every time we get to play in the CIAA, you know, everybody know what it is. You know, it's not a chance you get a week off or anything like that. Those guys got to be ready and buckled up. So um, we had a good practice today. You know, I was happy with that. You know, um, and it's going to lead to probably another good practice tomorrow. And those guys, just being on back on a regular weekly schedule like we like we normally been on, is something that I think those guys got a, got a good wind of. So, you know, I definitely know it helped the coaching staff because, you know, we're tired a little bit too. I was going to say, because as you got ready for Shaw, that was on a short week. Uh, the game against uh, Morehouse, they were just antsy to kind of hit somebody else on a different color jersey. This was really your first, quote unquote, normal week uh, of practice to get ready for an opponent. Absolutely. It definitely is. You know, um, we're playing the game on a Sunday, turn around, playing another one on a Saturday. The, the, the most fortunate part was that we probably came out of camp for the first one. But, you know, it kind of stretched it out and put us on a fast pace for preparation. You know, so we did a few things different, you know, in terms of, you know, um, just you know, how we how we had the guys doing contact, you know, how we prepared, you know, we did that for the first two weeks, you know, um, now we just, like I said, we go back to our normal schedule of what we normally do on the Tuesday, we'll do tomorrow, what we normally do on the Wednesday, and it'll lead us on through the rest of the week, so, um, like I said, I'm happy to be in this place, you know, that we are, you know, the city sitting 2-0 and and get a chance to normally prepare like we would, so I'm happy about that. Emma, uh, you do have, like, some sort of, I guess, deadline or timeline, for Jada status to say, hey, by this day, if we don't hear something one way or the other, hey, we're just going to go on and play as if he may not play for Saturday? Is that? Yeah, we're going to prepare as normal. We're going to prepare as normal. I think we got enough talent across the board that, you know, um, when one player is kind of missing, you know, we, we we don't stop. You know, we kind of keep doing what we're doing. So, you know, um, he's a great player, and then we, we expect him to be out there. So, you know, if something happens different, we'll, we'll be prepared for that as well. So, not necessarily a cutoff time. Like I said, we got a bunch of good guys, and we're just looking to focus on, on Livingstone. So, and everybody that got to be prepared to help us win that, I think will be in place to help us win it. Okay. I'm good. All right, Coach, I was going to ask you, you mentioned it a little bit earlier, and you mentioned it a little bit on uh, on Saturday after the game. Tell exactly, I mean, delaying a game two and a half hours, not only does that throw off the start of the game, but – it throws off the whole schedule for the team, doesn't it, for the day? It does. You know, I think we, we didn't get back to Richmond to, uh, you know, roughly around maybe uh, close to about 9, 30, 10 o'clock that night. You know, so we were way off in terms of that. But um, we were able to have the food there, get the guys nutrition and everything they needed to make sure, you know, like I said, that the, the, the physical part was taken care of. But they're not sure all the way off schedule. Both teams, you know, I think it did the same thing for, for Shaw as well. So that's why, you know, me and Jones, me and Coach Jones kind of, you know, contemplated what if we don't play this game? What happens if we don't, you know? But I think, you know, the most important part is that we did. You know, um, we both spoke about let's make sure we play this game, let's get this game. But, you know, I, th I don't think you sacrifice the physical way of being a student athlete to play a game, you know? So I think, you know, that was something that, you know, we, we took collective thoughts on and we both felt good enough about where we were at the, at the time that they made the, the decision and we went ahead and played it. But you, you're right, it definitely throws you all the way off for the day. But, um, like I said, it's something that we learned from. It's the first time it happened for me as a head coach, you know, um, to be in a delay that long, you know. So I'll use that moving forward to make sure, you know, that I make the proper decisions when it comes to anything about our student athletes. Shamar Graham was named uh, linebacker of the week, and Will Davis, William Davis, was named defensive back of the week for their performances. Can you talk a little bit about them? Um, like I said earlier, those guys are, are staples for us. You know, those guys are, are, have been in the program. Those guys kind of came up with us. We recruited those guys directly out of high school. So any type of success they get, I'm happy about. You know, I mean, it, like I say, it shows that we're on the right path and right track when, we, when we're going to recruit. If we can get guys like that, you know, those guys are both underclassmen for us. So, you know, um, those guys are going to be around for a little longer. You know, um, so they made a bunch of plays on Saturday. You know, um, and just to have two guys on defense make it the way our defense has been playing, you know, I'm, I'm happy about that. Those guys have been playing uh, – a lot of good ball over there, and it's a bunch of them that are playing good ball. One last thing, Coach. Today we learned that the St. Augustine's game has been moved off the campus of St. Augustine's to a high school field. Um, I take it the, the high school field is grass? Um, they, they reached out uh, yesterday just to make sure that um, they kind of had the logistics and everything kind of down packed how we're how we going to do things. So um, it'll be a, a grass field right over there at Southeast Raleigh High School. So um, you know, we played that before, you know, um, so it won't be, you know, that much to do, like, to change the things up, you know. Um, 
I think as long as it's 100 yards and, and, it, and it's 53 wide, I think, you know, um, we'll, we'll be okay. You know, so, you know, we're, and I think that's a couple weeks down the road. So, you know, um, right now, you know, we'll head down, down, down Livingstone this weekend and play on that blue turf. Carolina blue turf. That's right.